getting your hair styled or your makeup done, if you're a woman in Kabul, it's still possible, even with the Taliban in power. هر روزی که مدد و کان هستم احتمال میتونم شاید فردا این روز آخری روزم باشه و فردا نتونم باز پس من اینمی کار خود آغاز کنم. When the Taliban took over the country in August, beauty salons such as the ones you see behind me shut down. Many of the owners of beauty salons decided to erase the images of women they had on their windows to appease the Taliban, to avoid retaliation. After a few weeks, however, beauty salons started gradually reopening. ما خوب دکان خودم که باز کردم به با بسیار ترس و وحشت ما باز کردیم. فکر نمی کردیم پس بتانیم ما این مسلک خود ادامه بدیم. And business is now slow in this beauty center we visited. Still, salons are pushing to stay open and testing what they can get away with. In Kabul, many women are scared of venturing outdoors on their own these days. And those who do often dress more conservatively than in the past. The Taliban have a more moderate stance on women than when they were last in power in the 1990s. But they have imposed some restrictions, barring most female civil servants from going to work and cracking down on protesters marching for women's rights. Younger girls have been allowed to go to elementary school, though most middle and high schools remain shut for the time being. Keen to obtain international recognition and aid, the Taliban government has promised to respect women's rights within the limits of Islam. But many remain skeptical. وقتی که ما خانما را آماده می ساختیم تیار می ساختیم بسیار یک حس خوب داشتیم ولی حالا متاسفانه بسیار روحی های ما خراب شده 25 year old Akila Azimi who runs a beauty salon in Kabul says she decided to reopen and continue working despite the potential risks به خاطر نمو ما آمدیم دکان های خود باز کردیم منتها پوسترا را تبدیل کردیم حجاب های خود مکملا وقت رفت آمد خود ما حجاب می کنیم حتی شده پیش روی مرا در وقت بر آمدن طالب گرفته که کو محرم تان چرا تنها بر آمدین شما باید یک محرم هم رایتان باشه این بر ما بسیار یک صحنه دردناک بود یک صحنه بسیار سخت بود بسیار مرا ناامید کرد asked about beauty salons a taliban spokesman told us that under their rule women will be allowed to get an education and work so far, there's no indication that these shops will be forced to shut down. Still, Akila's business is struggling. She says she's making just around $110 a month, down from $2,700 a year ago. و ای که با بسیار ترس و لرز ما کار میکنیم با بسیار تهدید با بسیار یعنی برای ما بسیار امیال مشکل است که ما بیاییم و کار خود اینجا شروع کنیم Last time they were in power in the 1990s the Taliban imposed harsh strict social rules on women Women were barred from education and work and could only appear in public if they were covered from head to toe They had to be accompanied by a male guardian this time around, the Taliban haven't yet imposed such strict social rules. The new government is still working to formalize those kinds of regulations. Beauty parlors were also banned when the Taliban last ruled, and business owners like Akila are worried that those harsh restrictions could be reimposed. و ما فعلا هم که ما میاییم او خلاف قوانین و عقیده های از واس که ما میاییم دکان خود باز میکنیم شاید اگر اینها در آینده نه چندان دور شاید مانع کسب ما شوند شاید بیاین و بگویند در اسلام ای جایز نیست و شما اجازه ای کار ندارین اجازه فعالیت چنین کاری را ندارین